Hey guys, Miss PC Tricks back with you again. Today I'm going to show you a lot of the alert types that you're going to see on your iPhone 4S. Now I'll admit when I first got the phone, it was a little confusing as to which alerts I should choose and what exactly they'll do when they alert me. So I hope to make it a little more easy on you guys if you just got a phone or if you want to kind of play around with the alert types, then uh, this should help. Anyway, let's go into settings. And in order to get your text alerts, you're going to go into notifications, which is up here. Then we're going to go down to messages. Right now, uh, the badge icon is turned on, and I'll show you what that is in a minute. But the alert options are none, banners, and alerts. And there's also the show preview and the view and lock screen, which is way down at the bottom. So let's go over what a few of these do. For one, the alert style of none means that it won't, if your phone is off, or excuse me, if it's kind of asleep, then it will not show anything on the home screen to alert you unless you click this view and lock screen. If that is on, it will, it will show up in the home screen, but the none means that it will not alert you. If the banner, that will show at the top. It'll kind of flip down and be about as wide as this messages icon right here, all the way across, and it'll be a banner showing you who it's from. And then the alert will require you to either view the text or cancel the text. So I'm going to kind of test text myself and show you how these all work. Let's go with none right now and have the view and lock screen on. So just a second. Okay, now in order to really see this, we're going to turn the phone off. So you can see the phone is off, and I'm going to text myself something. There we go. And you can hear the little sound it made too. We can either turn that off or turn it back on as we see fit. But if you notice, after I put my passcode in, I'll just do my passcode that it takes us right to the text. It doesn't take you like to the home screen or anything like that. If you actually put your passcode in or open your phone right after it alerts you before the screen goes black, it will take you right to the messages. So that's our first one. Let's look at another option. Let's look at the banners. So we'll click banners and I will text to myself again. And you see this little message up here. And it'll stay for a few seconds and then it'll disappear again. And this is what I meant by the badge app icon. The badge is this little one at the top of the message uh, icon. It'll show you how many texts you have that you have not read yet. You can also turn that off by going here and turning this badge icon off. Now let's look at alerts. Turn the alerts on and we'll try it with both. We'll try it with the phone on and the phone off. So it's going to give us an alert here. There we go. So our two options here are to close or to view. And before uh, we can do anything else on the phone, we have to pick one of those two options. That's what the actual alert is for. It won't let you do anything until you click either close or view. So you're going to view it. And of course it just says test because that's why I sent myself because I'm not real creative when it comes to test messages. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I can play around with. Oh yes, the show preview button. If you want uh, to see what the text says when it comes in, We'll click the show preview button and that will give you a preview of the text so we can see how that works just a minute here we'll turn this off and we'll send it again and you will see okay now you can see it reads here test the video that's what the text that i wrote that was what the preview is you'll see part of what is written in the text so if for privacy purposes you don't want people reading um, the text turn that little icon off otherwise they'll otherwise they'll see it 
So that is the gist of the notifications for the messages. Uh, that's the none, the banners, the alerts, the view unlock screen, the badge app icon, and the show preview. So hopefully that gives you a little better idea of how you can kind of have them turned on to private. Uh, if you want totally private messages, you can either turn the notification center off or you could just say none for the alert style and make sure that the view and lock screen and the show preview are both off. And that way, if you just have the badge app icon on, you will be able to log into your phone and check how many messages you haven't read, but it'll be much more private. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and like and favorite my video and all that good stuff. Thanks!